Hi, this is Firas Samir from DealingWithWindows.com In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the Microsoft Windows 7 on your PC. So after rebooting the computer, you will see uh, this uh, sentence. Within 5 seconds, we have to press any key in order to um, get within the installation process. So now this is the uh, files have to be loaded to start the installation. This would take a little while. So, because my Windows version is only English, so we, we will find here only English, it depends on your version. And um, you have to select your uh, region and time and uh, all the stuff, and then you click next to proceed. In this uh, uh, window, you will see this button, install now. So we click it to start the installation. Terms and condition, we have to agree upon them in order to proceed with the installation. So we click next. And now we can see that we have two options to install the Microsoft Windows 7. The first one is to upgrade the existing Windows Vista, for example. Uh, and uh, this option will uh, save all our old data and we will not lose any one of them. Um, now the second one is to install a fresh Windows. So uh, we choose the second one in order to install a new fresh windows after formatting the partition that we want to install windows in so we, we click on this the next uh, step showing us the uh, hard disk drive mine contain four partitions I will uh, choose the second partition because this is a test installation for just to show you how to install it so uh, to format this partition I have to um, choose this option and click on format The confirmation I have to accept it. And now the partition has um, formatted. As you can see here, the total size is the same of the free size, free space size. It means the partition now is empty. So now we click on next to proceed. The Windows installation now takes a little while to be completed so uh, I'm gonna reduce and I'm gonna trim this time in order not to make this video boring so after completing this configuration and setup uh, initiation the Windows will start um, setting up and finalizing the installation process. After 10 seconds, this uh, co the computer will be restarted. You will be asked again to press any key in order to get into the installation process. Don't touch anything because in this case you will start uh, the installation from the beginning so leave it in order to proceed with the uh, installation
setup is updating registry settings. You see the installation is so easy and simple and um, after the finishing the first rebooting Don't, don't touch any key now, the same. Just leave it to proceed with the installation process. And now setup is preparing the computer for the first time, checking the video performance as well for your hardware. Here we have to enter the computer name and username, so I, I will enter Firas Samir, my name. And as you can see uh, in Windows 7, when you write the username, the computer name will automatically written here. Um, you can change it, of course, as you like. So we click next, and it gives you the opportunity to enter the password for your username. You enter it here and confirm it in the other uh, field. You can leave it a blank up to you and you click next here we have to enter the uh, product key and we click next there uh, to protect your computer and to keep it updated from the uh, with using the internet just click the recommended settings and uh, here uh, you can modify the date and time and the location where do you live um, so simple like here for example I want to change the time to 3 no actually it's 2 o'clock now 2.31 so modify it to 31 and I'm gonna click next to continue here the installation detects that um, there are uh, four wireless network within the range of my laptop and uh, either you skip this um, uh, configuration and you perform it next or you can do it now like I'm doing here. I click on Feras network which is mine and I have to enter the security key and then I click next to proceed. The installation will ask me which type of uh, networking do you have. I have the home network. That's it. The installation almost completed, and you see uh, the preparation of my desktop. And uh, finally, we got the installation completed. And for how to put the uh, icons, we click right click on the desktop, we choose personalize. Uh, you can see here different type of themes we might use, but by default we choose the first one, which is uh, Windows 7. So click on uh, change desktop icons and tick the boxes of which icons you want them to be shown on the desktop and click OK and finish. This is how we install the Microsoft Windows 7 on our computer. Thank you.